Okay. Put it this way, the articles clearly govern how the organization is supposed to be run. Mm -hmm. And as long as things are done within the articles, it's okay. But when things are done outside, then of course you have a violation. And clearly in this matter here, I, I, I'm not too, um, how you say, satisfied with how certain things was answered. I think what we should do is be uh, adults about this. Mm -hmm. And clearly mistakes was made, you know, live up to the mistakes. And, do the right thing, but don't try to make a wrong even more, like, seem like it's right, because point is, that's what the articles are there for, so, I would say at this stage, I would leave it as that, that, uh, I don't really feel that she really addressed it as per the articles, and I kind of felt, you know, like it was trying to make it look like in the best interest, but the question is in the best interest of who? Was it okay to do like that? I didn't really hear any resolution. I didn't really hear any clear-cut answers. I didn't hear any full explanations from her. So... Yeah, but that board, you see, a board can take a resolution, in essence, is what she's trying to say, but it cannot be in violation with the articles, because ultimately when you come before a judge, what stands out is the articles, not a resolution, because it, it cannot be that the board could just take a resolution to do any and anything. I mean, it got to be in line with the articles, and if it's not, then of course that is a violation. And I mean, if any violation was done, you could probably say it's more violation like that, and of course other things probably would have been did. So, all right. Well, Gracita Arnold asked the question about whether your position would still be open if you were to go back. Would you ever go back? Well, in, under the right circumstances? I was about to say, you know, circumstances will always have to play a factor. Um, I tried for 28 months um, to try to keep the operation going. I mean, I took it up with nothing, literally nothing, and I made it to what it is today that at least we could have a conversation today about something. I made sure every month that the employees was paid, I took care of the bonus, the whole, everything that the employees needed as per the CLA. And I think with not being given anything and being able to accomplish that, with stuff being taken away, I think that's an accomplishment all by itself. So for me, I felt, you know, I did at least good in terms of getting us where we are. And um, yeah, that, 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 that is a question, but the point is, like you mentioned, good, the circumstances would, would, would determine. Does, do you think that this issue with the DP has anything to do with Michael Ferrier's postal services? Do you think the reason that DP has an issue with you is because one of their own, who's Michael Ferrier, I like him, I respect him, but do you think it has anything to do with a conflict of interest where um, it would probably cut into his business or... Well, I, I would probably not comment on that because I, that's not something that really bothers me. Mm -hmm. I mean, put it this way, if that organization have the proper documents and the proper means to... Were you a scapegoat because um, you weren't cooperating? Why were you made a scapegoat, seriously? Well, the thing is, is because I stood up for what is right, as per the articles. I, I, I basically try to manage the company the way how it's supposed to, and naturally, whenever there was anything that was not in line, of course, I challenge. And I got a, yeah, it could be probably my board didn't really like that, and they probably decided, well, you know something, let me start doing whatever I need to do to make sure that this gentleman maybe reached the point that he would resign or, you know, or that we would get him on something. Do you think your uh, the reason that they forced your resignation? Do you think it was political or personal? I, On their part, do you think it was well, some personal or was some political I, I mean, where you I, weren't? I would probably want to say it's probably more personal, but you know, when you're in these type of positions, you need to be able to put personal things aside and, and, and look at it as a as a business. Look at it from a professional perspective, and the fact that we are a young country up and coming, and these monuments like what I would call like the post office. We need to have it, we need to ensure it's run proper. You need to put the emphasis on making sure that that gets priority and put all personal things aside. But I guess some people probably have a little difficulty with doing that, you know, but um, the way I've tried to manage and, and kept and, and try to steer the ship has always been with the interests of PSS at heart and I always ensure that my employees always got paid and everything was taken care of with them as much as I could even though it was very tough in terms of the circumstances with not being given that one guild and stuff like that. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Denise Richardson, and um, I hope that you um, do succeed in your battle against or with 
against the government. I really hope you do. I hope I hope it's resolved at some point. Well, I hope so too. I, I hope that it doesn't have to come down to a court case because I think if it comes to that, it'll probably be an easy case in terms to establish. But then the question would be, why would you need to take government to court, embarrass government and do all of those things? I hope we can be adults about this and just do this thing the right way. So okay. thank you. Thank you, Denise.